M0 FXB Radtail RT880 or the iRadio UV98. The cable you need to program it, and we have got the CPS now, I'll put the link in the description, and to download it you just put in the password 700, 700, and it works fine, I've checked it from the USB-C here, no drivers required apart from the CH340. Now, you can buy a USB-C to CH340, but you'll have to order it and it takes a while for you to get it. So you can, you can make one if you buy one of these TTL adapters here. Okay, I'll put a link in the description for that, and you've got connectors there with pins, and they're all labelled on here. So if you look at the one I've made, when you cut the data cable, the USB data cable, it will have a red, a black, a green, and a white wire. And so you need to connect. Let me just show you here. I just unplug it. Um, zoom in a bit there. You need to connect the red to the one that says 5 volt. Then ignore the VCC and the, that one there's 3V something. But on the next one along, the TXD, you need to connect the white wire on the TXD, okay? Then you connect the yellow wire on the RXD, and then the, on the ground you connect the black wire. So you've got black, then you've got yellow, or sorry, actually it's actually green on my on your USB cable. Then on the TXD, it's going to be the white. Then you skip, skip, and then to power this, you need the five volts going here. So the red cable on your USB is going to the five volts, and then the ground, the black cable is going to go to the black cable where it says ground. And when you plug that in, it will say CH340. Let's just turn this right round. So. Like so, it's all connected now. Now I'll just quickly show you it working on my phone. I'm going to do proper videos, but I'll just show you that once it's connected, and we, you know, we've just downloaded and opened up this software, which is virtually identical to the uh, UV860, apart from the fact that you've got three when you go into the settings. Let's just go, where is it? Config. You've got... I did find it earlier, config one. Look, you've got, when you do the zones, look, you've got three lots instead of two lots because it's a triple monitor radio. But all the other things, like adding your channels is here. And you've got zones and you can put channels that you've created that are here in the middle into different zones that you can name, okay? Like so. You can name zones. Of course, you can file and save and all that. Uh, get your port selection. So I, if you right-click device manager, the CH340, so we'll go right click just here, device manager, and you'll see, if you go down, COM11 CH340, okay, and that's the cable we've made, and then you select it here in settings, like so, you just go yes, and then if we go read, read, oh, I need to plug it in, and, um, when I get back, because I'm going out now, I'll solder it all up and make it make a nice, neat job, because it is a mess, of course. But very doable. And you can see it's reading now. Like so. I'm trying to keep my hands still. It doesn't go all the way up, but it does read. And it's excellent that we can program this using the USB-C. I'll leave it live, fast forward it. You've got some ranges here you can unlock as well, apparently. It says complete. Click on channels there. You can put the names in, set all your parameters. You've got config one and two. You've got all your settings, all your config settings for number one. Power on settings. You can do your boot image and I'll do that later. Your device settings there. There's the software. So all the links are in the description for the parts and everything you need. And of course, it's at your risk. Thanks for watching. I'll just show you what the radio does when we hit right. We're going to go right. And it's writing. But the radio, you just see the light here in red. And it just writes. So, but yeah, it's good news that it's we're able to read and write using USB-C and it's the same radio. Oh, there it goes. Backing up when it reboots. Ta-da. Thanks for watching. More videos to come. 7-3.